Hey guys, it's Big Dave here for Tales of Talara, and it's Monday, and you know that means it's time for Warfronts. Yeah, that's right, Warfronts with an exclamation mark. Warfronts is my weekly Rift PvP show where an average PvE player, that's me, tries to get better at Rift's PvP Warfronts through self-analysis. If I sound a little happy, it's because of this comment that was left on last week's show. This comment from Mr. Rage Quit Now suggested a couple of things. Amongst them was suggestion of changing server. He let me know that the battle group for Wolfbane was uh, quite a bit more active than it appeared my battle group was, and uh, he suggested that I change over. So I did, and guess what happened? I got a queue with my level 32 rogue. So that's right, guys. We're going to be finally back on the rogue level 32 support action. In fact, I was so ecstatic to get that game with my rogue that I played an absolutely horrible game. Uh, and uh, I don't know why my uh, my joy made me play horribly, but uh, I think I was just so shocked to actually be back on the guy. And I realized I hadn't played this guy in a month and a half probably in an actual PvP match. So it took me a little bit to get used to the uh, the controls again, to get accustomed to his abilities, and finally got things rolling, but I turned in an absolutely hideous match, which is actually good uh, because there's an awful lot to learn from this match. So without any further ado, let's take a look at my level 32 rogue. He is specced into Bard, and this is the Library of the Rune Masters. To the action. Oh my god, level 30 Q is actually pop on this battle group! Joy. And that's exactly how I felt when I got this queue popped within one minute of joining. Oh my lord. Oh, I was so happy I got a boner. It was just amazing. Uh, I did a little experiment before switching servers on Free Home, my original server. I queued up, I waited in the queue the uh, listed amount of time that it was supposed to take uh, to get into the fastest. Warfront, which was 30 minutes, and uh, I waited that 30 minutes, gave up, switched servers, and within two minutes of, of actually logging out of Free Home, switching servers, getting back into Wolfbane, and joining the queue, I was in this game. Unfortunately, as you can see, this game doesn't go so well. You can see me here going toe to toe with a Justicar. Why I'm doing this, I just absolutely do not know. Um, in the back of my mind, the whole time I was here doing this, I was saying to myself even, why are you doing this? Why are you going toe-to-toe -to -toe with this tank? Why are you doing this? Um, I really don't know. I got distracted, and uh, this is a, a rookie mistake. It's, it's, a, it's a noobish, failish, worse than I was playing in episode one of Warfront's sort of crap mistake. I mean, this guy is doing the thing that I talk about so often. He's controlling us. You know, there are multiple guys here who are over here focusing on him or focused or not focused on the relic, and uh, he is effectively preventing us from actually winning. You know, he's preventing us from doing what we're supposed to do, which is grab relics. And it's just kind of sad. I mean, if that guy was going to continue to focus on me, I could have kited him. I could have done anything but stand toe to toe with him and just let him use every cooldown he has to keep me and my teammates distracted. Plain stupid. That's it. That's all it was. It was a, it was an amateurish mistake, and it, I, I just, I have no excuse. I have no excuse for it. It's the sort of thing that I'm supposed to not be doing by this point. You know, 33, 34 episodes in, I'm not supposed to be making those kind of mistakes, but yet I still am. So uh, you can see me here, I feel like I'm kind of overextending myself a little bit, getting out there, making myself a target. Uh, I should probably be closer to our stairs uh, than I am right now, or I could be going for uh, support on our one relic holder. Uh, you know, I could be doing something else besides what I'm doing. And uh, that's kind of the theme of this particular episode. Uh, why am I doing what I'm doing, and what else could I be doing? Uh, you can see one of my teammates here in the chat pane giving an awful lot of examples, uh, you know, or giving an awful lot of advice here, uh, asking us all, uh, do we understand how this works? And uh, if we're level 30, we should know this by now. Yeah, uh, I, I agree. I agree. Um, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Everybody has a bad uh, game every now and then, and I seem to have an awful lot of them. Um, I'm not sure what's going on here. Uh, this guy's sort of over here in the corner having himself an emo pity party, and uh, and this guardian does what you should do to all emos who are uh, sulking in a corner. He kills him dead. And uh, 
Yes, justice is in fact served. I feel a little outmatched here, so I start to run away, only to realize I have some cover. So uh, I could have stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with him there, but I still chose to flee because uh, he was unloading a hell of a lot of damage on me. I come up here to find, oh my god, there's a bunch of them here and I'm probably going to die. Uh, lucky and Luckily enough, I start to build my health back up, things get okay. Uh, you know, I get my health back up to an acceptable uh, level. But what you can see here is that the Guardians are doing everything right. They're all grouped up together. Healers are healing the Relic Holders, and uh, we're just kind of running around aimlessly. Um, I go back down to grab that Relic, but I'm beat to it by a teammate, so I just let him have it. And um, you can see I've picked up a little friend here. This little rock elemental will harass me for the next several minutes. And uh, I kind of just don't pay him too much mind. Um, a little bit of teamwork here, shockingly. A bunch of us teaming up on this poor mage to take him out. Uh, he does what he can to try to preserve his life. But, uh, yeah, he's going down. So, let us see. What shall we do next? Let's head up top. Yep, back up to where the other team is doing a good job of being a team. So we come up here, and again, what, what do we notice? We notice that the other team is doing a very good job of things. And what do we do again? We decide to attack this guy who has healers, and we don't even uh, think about attacking his healers. And uh, instead, we uh, we go ahead and just uh, pour damage into him. He himself seems to be a healer also, so uh, you know it was really just kind of a losing battle from the start. Uh, the other team systematically starts picking us off one by one. I mean, they're doing an awful lot of stuff right. We're doing an awful lot of stuff wrong. And uh, that is so often how it is when you get into these matches. Uh, you know, one team is just... They're, they're just sort of aimless. <laughs> they're not focused. They're not working together. They're not doing the things that they should be doing. They're just kind of existing. And uh, this is one of those games. I'm on that team. We're just kind of here. You know, we're just kind of uh, fodder for them. So uh, let me take a drink of my delicious beverage, freshen my palate. Uh, H2O. That'll allow me to speak a little bit more. I'm still sort of fighting off a cold. I've had a cold for about a month. For, for you know, the last half of December and all of the new year, I've just been fighting this perpetual cold. So uh, here we go. We, we had a flash of a comeback maybe there. We had two relics, but uh, no go. Uh, we can see that uh, our faithful friend is still holding a relic in a corner. Uh, that appears to be the strategy that that particular player feels will win us the game. Uh, not working so far. Uh, I, on the other hand, think the strategy would be to actually go and get a relic. Unfortunately, <laughs> I am targeted for death by a couple of Guardian players, and I run like a scalded dog trying to avoid the beating that I'm sure I will receive. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot avoid it, and I take the death, which was preordained. So all in all, I mean, this game has been about doing the wrong things, and, and, and it is a really good example for an episode of Warfronts, because so much of what I do in this game is what you shouldn't be doing, and I don't know why I can't get that through my thick skull, you know. Uh, level 50 PvP, I'm finding that it requires me to be a lot more knowledgeable and uh, just generally be a better player than I normally am. Uh, so it feels nice to come in here to the level 30 bracket and be able to, to contribute. You know, right here, I'm uh, keeping my, uh, my ally alive while we both manage to DPS down this... Uh, this fella and and put him put him down you know that is the sort of stuff that I like to do I feel very ineffective it at level 50 but I feel in the level 30 bracket you know I can I can do a little something uh, unfortunately in this game uh, I did a very little something and uh, it kind of kind of embarrassed overall I mean I got okay healing numbers I would have liked to have been maybe double that in in a perfect world uh, but I did spend a lot of time aimlessly running around and, and you know, doing the wrong things. And, and this is the sort of uh, result that you get when that's what you do. So, all in all, this game was a, uh, a train wreck of miscues and missteps. And we will go over that in our Lessons Learned segment. So, uh, without any further ado, let's talk about that. Let's talk about Lessons Learned. So what do we learn here? Number one, we learn that you need to play those objectives. Don't allow yourself to be distracted. Do not play around. Don't engage guys. Don't decide this guy's got to die and just go all out on one particular player because when you do that, you allow that other player a power over you to control you. And that's exactly what that Justicar did early on in the match. He controlled myself and a few other, um, a few other defiants and it was really, frankly, embarrassing. And, uh, 
that is a good reason why you need to stay on task, stay on your objectives, and uh, go for the victory. I mean, if you're just there to, I don't know, try out your new build, maybe something like that is is acceptable. But in my mind, you're wasting other people's time. You know, contribute to the goals, try to win, and push forward. Always move towards the objectives, move towards the goal, whatever it is. You need to keep on task, and and that's really the major lesson that comes out of this particular war front. So uh, what else do we learn? Well, I learned that I have a much easier time in level 30 bracket content, and I really feel effective. I talked about that just a couple of moments ago, but uh, yeah, I feel like I'm contributing. I feel much more at home in the lower levels. I do feel outclassed in level 50 PvP, not only by people with better armor, but people with better knowledge and better skill than me. So it does feel nice to come down here and uh, and feel a little bit better about myself, yeah? It's uh, it's kind of like being the, the, the thinnest kid at fat camp. Uh, you know, I can come down here into the level 30 bracket, into the level 20 bracket, into even to the 40s brackets, and uh, I can I can feel like I know a little something. Even though in this particular match I didn't do a good job of showing what I know, uh, I still did okay overall. So did we learn anything else? Let's think. Let's think. I mean, those are definitely the main things that that I I learned. You know, I'm a more effective player uh, when I'm ver when I'm when I am uh, put up against players who don't know what they're doing, and uh, I really, really had an issue in this game with staying on task. Something else that I learned is, uh, well, apparently, holding a relic in a corner is not an effective strategy, surprisingly enough, uh, and grouping up in the center and playing as a team is. So, uh, you know, stick with your teammates, hang around the, the center of the map in a good and easily defensible position, and you will win the game. And that is uh, what the Guardians did, and they won uh, very, very easily there. Uh, you know, that was something like 1,000 to 450 or, or something like that. I, I missed the actual final score, but uh, they beat our asses. So, uh, yeah, play as a team, and victory is much, much easier to come by. All right, guys, that has been episode number 34 in the books, and uh, it has been a pretty good year for uh, for me in Rift and for Warfronts in general. I thought about doing a year-end uh, rambling session. I might do that next week, kind of just talk about uh, the whole journey of Tales of Talara. I have been doing this since the beta, uh, not Warfront specifically, but Tales of Talara has existed. Uh, there is a website blog associated with Tales of Talara, but don't waste your time. It's closing down next month uh, as I'm going to allow the domain to expire, and I I haven't touched the website in quite some time. Um, I, it just didn't it didn't materialize. I kind of thought, I'm going to be this bloggy guy, and I'm going to do this bloggy thing. And it just, I was not that guy. It just didn't work. And so uh, that website will be going away. Uh, so even if you do happen to go to talesoftalara.com, uh, don't, uh, don't get attached to it, because uh, within a month it will be no more. So, uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this episode of Warfronts. Keep keep your eyes here for more episodes of Warfronts. I really do uh, like the response that I get on these episodes now that they're here on Tales of Talara. A lot of helpful suggestions. Uh, I know a lot of you veteran guys probably watch me and you think, oh god, what a noob. That's exactly it. I am a noob. I, I love it when you guys chime in and give me advice. Uh, I know some of this stuff seems obvious, uh, but um, I'm just a simple PV, uh, PvE player. A lot of this stuff is not that obvious uh, as you might at first expect. So, uh, Please keep giving me good, helpful comments, or, you know, you can troll me, or you can uh, harass me, or you can call me uh, an idiot, or whatever you want to do. I just love the feedback. You know, I love the fact that you guys are participating, whether it's good or bad. All right, I have been Big Dave, and until next time, take it easy.